Welcome back to another edition of Undefeated Bets. Jonathan here, and this time we have Josh Taylor going up against Jack Catterall. So before I begin, I want to go over what uh, my goals are for these videos. Uh, behind the scenes, I put in hours of research, looking into statistics, going over footage for both fighters. I myself am a big boxing MMA fan. I've even laced up the gloves myself back in the day. So what I want to do is that in each video, I want to go over my key points from my analysis. I want to present that to you in two minutes or less in each video. Uh, with that, you guys can use that information to make some solid bets out there. So with that being said, let's go over the two fighters at hand. We have the undefeated, undisputed champ in Josh Taylor at 140. He is a solid junior welterweight. He's a sharp puncher. He has He's able to fight effectively on the inside. He's also able to fight effectively from a distance. Uh, he's had great performances against Regis Progre, which is not easy to do against uh, Jose Ramirez. Very important to keep in mind, he's one of the top ranks biggest stars right now. So in the event that the potential Terrence Crawford Errol Spence fight can't be made, Uncle Bob, uh, Bob Arum, is looking to, uh, to have Josh Taylor as a potential uh, opponent for Terrence Crawford down the road if that uh, potential fight can't be made so now let's take a look at ja uh, jack catterall his resume can't compare to josh taylor uh he hasn't fought those uh fighters at the elite level yet he has good boxing ability but he doesn't have a uh, a unique or a special ability such as like one punch knockout or uh, power or he's not an amazing counter puncher to pose a significant threat to josh taylor coming in uh, with the clash of styles here on the feet of bets, we have Josh Taylor stopping Jack Catterall in 10 rounds or less. It won't be by uh, by one punch or one, one punch knockout. It'll be by an accumulation of punches, those sharp punches that Josh Taylor throws. I can even see Jack Catterall's uh, corner throwing in the towel from the accumulation of punishment that he's going to, uh, Jack Catterall might receive at the end during the fight. So again, here on the feet of bets, uh, Josh Taylor, 10 rounds will stop Jack Catterall. That's our take. Stay tuned for upcoming bouts. We have Ugas against Spence coming up in April. And with that, I'm Jonathan and I'm out.